I don't know if you guys are caught up. Um, no, I want to know though. So I saw the, the clip. <laughs> So the best that that I understand it is that like Jack Murphy, who's who's his whole like online presence and and in real life presence is like pro masculinity, kind of um, like pro traditional gender roles, but also pro like men feeling good about themselves and getting stronger and community building and just like building up men because I feel like you know we live in a world where men are constantly being torn down and um but like great guy um friend of mine friend of elijah's as well and he's done like tim pool a bunch so he was on elijah and sydney's show you are here uh at the blaze on friday i believe this was and sydney brought up i guess there was an article that he wrote about um, after his divorce, I think he was like in the lifestyle for a few years and, and doing orgies and like very open relationship and all that. And, uh, the, you know, every combination, whatever. And I, so I guess there was a blog that I was trying to find, but I haven't found yet a blog. Oh, about... he deleted it. It's like archived. I can see if okay. I can find it for you. <laughs> blog about I, have the archive he... link. I have the archive link if you needed to. How like his wife oh, or girlfriend is. at the time. Uh, like banged another dude because right they were like in this open relationship so I guess people were asking hey ask Jack Murphy about like his cucking situation or about his cucking article um, wasn't it like a super chat too like she was reading a super chat so she brought it up I think in a via super chat and then he's like I don't want to talk about it like ah uh, he was kind of and I think she was more her attention was more on the super chats than because if she had been like full focused on him maybe she would have picked up like oh he's trying to like hint at me that he that we should move on but then she read another super chat that was like bringing it up again and she asked again and then he got upset because he thought she was being mean when really she just it like al al eluded her and then he was like fuck you <laughs> um oh, wow let me find oh is it in the private chat which one of these links is it either one of these the top one is the video and then the bottom one is the article oh oh my god you guys are so fast at the internet it really amazes me sometimes okay let me pull this up and i know this isn't very simpy but like this just happened <laughs> okay uh here we go I mean, you could argue a cuckold is kind of simpy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, true. Okay, WTF, uh, Jack Murphy Live. I know I'm risking a block. I don't give a fuck. I stick up for you. Da, da, da. Okay, here's the clip. Uh, oh, this is just somebody else who tweeted oh, this wow. out. Was Mr. Dickenball said, could you please clear up the cuck article you wrote? I am not going to talk about Again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? <laughs> fuck you. For bringing this up right here and right now, me? why why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of fucking common sense. How is that common sense? Yeah. Fuck you. Elizabeth, Heartfelt. Elizabeth. Uh, okay, so I yeah, I feel like more, more context that was really is needed. Shitty. This is a very short clip, so it's like if you don't know anything about the situation and you just watch this, you're like, oh, he was very shitty, and what the hell would led up to this? <laughs> so I I wish there was a longer clip of. Yeah, I wish out. I could see more because you're right. And I that think is one there thing is. that always annoys me about oh, is there? Well, he he says fuck you to her a few more times than that. But uh Wow. Yeah, he like goes off. I watched one and it was on Flashcast last night. Let me see if I can ask one of the guys for the link. I have a question. I think um, this is like he's like he's not. I mean, I've I've known him for a few months. I, I really don't I know him to be a very good guy, and I think that this yeah, he overreacted, but uh, I have a question. Feel, yeah. Um. So, since you're a host, what would you have done if you were the host and he said that to you? Okay, if what I were in reacted? Sydney's position or Elijah's? Yes, yeah. Sydney. If okay, so I'm like a people pleaser to a fault, and I think I'm also like uh, when I feel like I've uh, I've upset somebody, I go into hyperdrive. So. If I was detecting like, uh, wow, I'm getting an overreaction or I'm getting a lot of intensity from a guest, I would drop everything. Me personally would drop everything and be like, oh, my God, I am so sorry. Like, did I what did I miss? Like what? Uh, you know, I would try to like clarify is you really don't want to talk about this. And then there's part of me that the, there's like the therapist in me that would be like, oh, let's talk about what 
about this like triggered you? Like, why don't you want to talk about this? Is it because you don't feel like this blog or this thing doesn't reflect your current beliefs? You've changed over mm -hmm. time. And this kind of tr like, I hate saying the word triggered, but I, I would want to get into the why, because I feel like that makes for interest, an interesting show to get into the, like, why do you have all these feelings about it? But I think me personally, if I had pissed him off, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so, because there's part of me that's like, oh, please don't be mad at me. Like, I didn't mean anything by it. Um, but it's hard to know unless you're in that situation, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's one of those situations though, where if she didn't know and he's going to get pissed off, he needs, he, he, yeah, he overreacted. He needs to hold his composure and be like, Hey, look, that's something that I don't really want to talk about. I'm just telling you now, I don't want to bring it up because if it's an article that he wrote that people know about, he shouldn't be surprised that people ask, especially in a live interview sort of yeah. situation. Like, what did you think was going to happen? You wrote the article. Yeah. And it's okay mm -hmm. if it's something that you don't want to talk about, but you have to at least be cool about it and be like, look, hey, I don't want to talk about it. Not fuck you to someone who didn't know. Because she clearly didn't know. Yeah, it's I was, 2015. Uh, yeah. I was surprised to learn that he was, he bases his brand off of masculinity because um, I feel like that's not a very um, accurate representation of what someone would do that bases their brand off of being alpha and masculinity, I would expect something a little more stoic. So he yeah. maybe maybe it really did like hit a soft spot for him in that case. Well, he deleted like that. that article, so I mean, obviously he's a ashamed or embarrassed in some way. Which after reading it, I understand why. I don't know if it was me. If some guy's yelling like "fuck you" to something, I don't know. I'd be like, "Don't you fucking talk to me like that." You know, look at you. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I you. <laughs> well, I have like zero tolerance for that shit now. Before, I would do exactly what Chrissy did, but I've had some people really burn me. And it's like, if a full grown man is sitting back yelling at me over something I don't know, I mean, I'm a little person, <laughs> but it's like you're talking to me, you're screaming at me, telling me to go fuck myself over asking you a question on a super chat. I'd be like, well, yeah. no, go fuck yourself. Don't you dare speak to me like that. You know, she had no yeah. reason to get mad at her the way she did. It's not like she was purposely trying to antagonize him. Right. right. And this was towards the end of the show. Like you would get a sense of this person. Do they have malicious, malicious intent or not? I think after an mm -hmm. hour and a half, you would get a good feeling. And yeah. I think for me, you have to consider like, is this is this being done with malicious intent or is there a chance that she she's just really into these super chats and is not picking up on your subtle hints or maybe n not so subtle hints like in either way like uh like if it were just if it were me like we all have things that were like oh this person is bringing this up again like something in our we wish we that could people would forget about or stop bringing up like we all have that thing but we're also mm -hmm. public pers internet personalities or whatever so I guess like the way to handle it. I mean, now of course it's blown up into this thing, which I hate seeing because I, I love Jack. Like he's, he is truly a really great guy and I've never seen, I thought this was a joke when I first saw the clip. I was like, Oh, he has to be kidding around because I've never ever seen him like this or like this upset. And uh, it just, and then I was like, Oh no, this is a real reaction. So I, probably the best way to go about it would have been to be like, Oh yeah, this is what it's about. And then you move on. But now it's like, Obviously, it's blown. It's blown. Wait, up. I have a question. Um, you said that because I didn't see the prior instance. So the one that happened before that outburst, you said that she had mentioned it before in the super chat, and then he acted uh, irritated. I mean, sorry. See if I can. Um, like what happened before the big outburst because Chrissy said before that she had read another super chat about and he acted uncomfortable because I didn't see that. So I, I would I'm curious about that context. Because if because yeah. if he's acting that upset and that context is there of like it was brought up before and he acted uncomfortable, I can see why maybe he would it doesn't justify him um having a lack of control with his emotional outburst. I think that men should really take note and how important it is to be more stoic and let women be the emotional ones. Cause kind of like a, mm -hmm. if a pit bull growls at you versus a cat, a kitten hissing at you, you know, it means two very different things. I think it's a valuable yeah. standard, but um, I can understand maybe why he got a little bit offended um, if she did yeah. it twice and questioning her intention on that. But I don't know the context cause I didn't see the first one that Chrissy right. mentioned. 
Okay, let me pull it up here and the timestamps. God, this is like there's so many windows. The timestamps to look at is the two hour and nine minute mark and then the two hour, 14 minute mark. Okay, so the first mark is the first super chat at two hours and nine minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. And this like just happened. All right. All right. So the, obviously, look, they've got two hours of show already that went well. And then this happens. But this show's been hard to get advertisers on. Yes. Get, That's out, why, get out of town. Okay, so this <laughs> that is, is uh, why the super chats mean a lot to us. <laughs> they're the advertisers. Look, they're having a great time. You. you guys are the advertisers. That's why we try to get through all of these and read all your all right, comments. I got a few Even more. if you're trapping me. No, I want to read this one first. And because I started it, I'm going to finish what I started. Anamorphosis says Elijah, and I'm, I apologize for this in advance, Jack. Uh, oh, ask yeah. Murphy about the article he wrote about literally cuckolding his wife. <gasps> I wish I was joking. True alpha. Wow. True. Wow. You went there with that. <laughs> Uh, I have absolutely no comment on that other than to say that whatever people's perception is about that, it's 180 degrees wrong. And it has nothing to do with people think with them, what they're thinking it to be today. Are we talking about sex right now? You know what cuckolding is? I totally thought it's you were It's where reading... you get a chicken and you hold it and no, you love it. No, I just blanked out for you, a second. You make... <laughs> I just blanked out for a second. I'm, I'm so, I support you having chicken. We I don't kink chickens. shame. I like chickens. If you have a hen house, that's great. That's uh, you should. You should have your own eggs. Great we don't kink shame. Great, great for protein. You are here does not kink shame. I want to bring that out that we do not kink shame. If you're like, if you don't want to have, if you hate women, don't want to have any sex at all, that's your lifestyle. Or if you're a nude model, that's your lifestyle. You can, in fact, be a new, you can be both at the same time. True. Like, they're both very accepting. Like, at all the times I've yeah. been on the show, we talk about weird sex stuff all the time. Like, this would have been a very welcoming audience to just be like, uh, it was about this. Like he clearly said he didn't want to talk about it, but he didn't explain um, at all what it was about. Well, but he brushed it off, but brought... you can tell he's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Do you think that she should have brought it up a second time? Because I feel like that mm -hmm. context, now that we've seen it, we can see that he on it's some clear. level did express, like he addressed it. It's like, was it necessary to be brought up yeah. again? It's just I don't think so. Anymore. Unless it was a really high paying super chat, I wouldn't have bring yeah, like you don't bring that up once the guest already addresses right. it. It's like, no, I don't want to talk about this. Yeah. You don't bring it up again. He does. You know? He does totally do a good job of. So here is the next time it comes up. I don't know, and it, it that is a good point about how much. Oh, so it was three times. The I think it's it's twice. Let me bring up the second time it comes up at two thirteen. The threat is white supremacy. Minorities attack whites, invoke white rage, checkmate for the new KKK. Unvaxxed are discriminated already, and speech is segregated by race. That is true. Fred and Dad said, unfortunately, the proliferation of technology leads to authoritarian collectivism. Okay. Future looks Coming. gay. Merry Christmas, Sid and Jack. Any lie, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Mr. Dick and Bowles says, hey, Jack. <laughs> See? That's what she does. She does this. <laughs> Like she reads it like that's normal. Like it's not even. She's not even saying. I'm not gonna skip the name. She just goes. Mr. Dukenball said. Could you please clear up the cuck article? You wrote? Uh, I am not gonna talk about again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? Fuck you okay, for so bringing this up right here and right now. Me? Why? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of fucking common sense. Sorry, apologies. Yeah. Fuck, uh, you, fuck you. Elizabeth. Heartfelt. Elizabeth uh, Harrison says, "Gonna uh, gonna miss the show, but have a good break." I wait, wait, wait. H T. In the so, first, yeah, in the first one that it gets brought up was was the cuck article mentioned because it seemed like two yeah. different things. I didn't realize they were. It was okay. Yeah, I, I was talking about different things. Okay, no, and she like totally sidestepped it by making it about chickens when everyone knows exactly what it was about. Right. Right. Okay. So yeah, uh, I don't think claiming that she didn't know what it was was valid. Um, because if if she saw if she even made a joke about it the first time, then obviously. I mean, who doesn't know what a cuck hold is at like a uh, twenty eight? Think she is? Yeah, so, yeah, you yeah. know what that is. Again, I don't, I don't approve of how he allowed his emo emotional yeah. sides come out and his emotional outbursts as someone, especially who brands as like a masculine af alpha and such. But mm -hmm. um, I just well, want okay. to be after an objective here with with watching both. Let let. Because, I mean, I've had emotional outbursts over something that was sensitive, but, I mean, it obviously wasn't about my sex life. But so, I don't know. Because I've kind of snapped at people before, like, if they brought something up, like, specifically, like, when my sister died. And if uh -huh. people would bring that up or, like, try to do that, it's like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. You bring it up again. It's like, I li he literally just told her. He, he didn't want to talk about it one super chat ago. And so... 
him already saying like, no, you think it's done. And then somebody changed the subject, cut him off. Let me bring it back up again. It was less than I'd five minutes of, later. Yeah, it was. Uh, I'd, I'd be kind of pissed too. So I kind of see it now from his perspective a little bit more. I don't think it was her. I don't think she got on that. It was really uncomfortable for him. No, I don't you think know? she picked that up. For the first I think time this is just her. an awkward situation that is now being blown out of proportion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I saw the quartering was still tweeting about it right before the stream started. Oh, man. Yeah. Because he's the one who popularized this clip, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was tweeting about it a lot, too. They and seem I, like and really I, good friends. Yeah. And I think that the instinct, I think that maybe the quartering's instinct was more like you. And it's so in interesting, right? Like, had he had said this to Elijah, would have been a whole different story. But the fact that of the optics of of Jack having this reaction to Sydney, a woman, it's like it's it's going to inspire a lot of guys to be like, you don't talk to a, you don't talk to my friend like that, or you don't talk to a woman like that. Um, but I, they did talk about it, you know, after the fact, and they did, you know, smooth it over. And I guess they're better now. And then it's interesting because how he leaves the show at the end is is uh because because I think well what happens right after this? Let's see. Yeah, see what's that? <coughs> they're kind of they continue on. <coughs> what? Nothing. Maybe I'm just guy. I literally was just coughing. It's just an inconvenient cough. Uh, no Fox says Sydney is just... really great. Okay, so it's going Eddie along. Cases. There's not that much Reading? chit chat. They have gone. Still. Like, what was his outro after that? I'm kind of curious. Like said, Were they just like, well, have a great you mean like at the at the very end? Like, like when they said bye to him, like, I wonder how oh. him oh. and Sydney interacted because that's kind of oh. awkward. This is what happens at the end. Evening. Have a great weekend and a merry, merry Christmas. Like, watch how he, how he leaves this. And then watch Elijah's reaction. Okay. Wow, Ooh, he doesn't say oh, anything to cold. either of them. Yeah. That's a snub. Yeah, he was not happy. Oh. Woo. I, I also I also feel like if that's something that you don't want to talk about, you're right. He did say something about it, and she probably shouldn't have brought it up again. Um, still think it was no reaction, well, but I feel like yeah. I just feel like if that's something you don't want to talk about, sort of like I mean, celebrities do this all the time. You say beforehand. Like, hey, look, this is one thing that people are probably going to bring up because it's out there, but I, I really don't want to talk about it. Like, if well, you're that should, concerned about it. That article is from 2015. Like, I don't think he was expecting it to be brought up, you know? Yeah, that's very If you're old. on a conservative podcast of any kind, though, you should expect if you have a degenerate past, so to speak, that it might come up, you know, because he wrote it and it was public, like... I feel like he should well, know. How much has up. he done since 2015? Like, I don't know who he is. I didn't know who he Me was either. until yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I didn't know who any of those people were until yesterday when I saw the clip. <laughs> but yeah, I know I, I, lo I live yeah. under a rock. But, I mean, I would have expect because is he a comedian? He is. Like, what, no. What's he's, his um, He's the founder of a group called the Liminal Order, where he it's like community building. It's like good, you know, male. It's like a male networking group, basically. Like they help each other. I don't know, find I, um, jobs or be like male friendship and stuff. Like I don't know, because I can't join because I'm a woman. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think he well, does. It's 2021. <laughs> but I've been to. They have these. Um, they're called. J he hosts these like jack. It's called Jacked Brunch, and I went to the one in Nashville, and it was like lovely. It's like a great networking event for like men who are like you know kind of all have the same goals and like want to start families and want to like succeed at their jobs, and it's like a very healthy kind of like. Oh, male that's networking. interesting. Yeah, that, and I went. It must like, have. It must have moved then because I'm not aware of his entire uh, lore or anything, but I was actually going through the uh, cuckold article he wrote and one of his uh, influences he cited was Rouge V. And at that time, especially in that time period, which he wrote it, Rouge V was very much not a uh, traditionalist, so to speak. He was pickup artist, which is the exact opposite. It's like, fuck as many women as possible, not be loyal and faithful to one person. Yeah. And I think so, he had that phase. I think he had that phase like right after his divorce and now he's like on the other side of it. Like, Hey, I'm all, I'm, I have a fiance. I'm all about this one woman. Like I had this past. So I can understand like he didn't, that makes he, sense. Probably, he, he was like, Oh, this isn't me now. But then say that be like, maybe you do have to briefly go, okay, 
I was in all these open relationships or whatever. And I wrote this at a time when I felt this, but yeah, I get, uh, I get being triggered, but it does look bad, but he's a great guy. So I feel, I feel bad. <laughs> um, I hate People when, make mistakes, especially when emotions are involved. I feel like that's they such left a big a, thing. A comment on their video about it. It's from oh. Brandon. Oh yeah. It says, Sir. Okay, so I'll read it. Uh, excuse my dyslexia. Uh, well, tonight's ending got a bit spicy. In the moment, Elijah and myself thought Jack was talking about the super chatter when he made those remarks towards Sydney, since clearly oh. she was just reading the comment. None of us knew anything oh. related to Jack and this topic, so there was truly no malicious intent behind it, and we were genuinely confused as to why... Uh, he was so agitated when he walked off the set at the end of the show. It wasn't until after the show that I was able to rewatch the ending and get a better understanding of what, what went down. Elijah managed to catch up with Jack and they talked it out and realized there was a misunderstanding Wait. and that it became something it didn't have to. Wait, that doesn't make sense though, because two things. So why would number one, if it was toward the super chatter, why would Jack say to Sydney, why are you doing this to me? I don't think he would say that to a random super chatter. And number two, hmm. I'm pretty sure Elijah made a tweet following up. He said something along the lines of like, I'm not a white knight. So that's kind of conflicting, I, I think, isn't it? I think they mean in regards to why Sydney, he didn't defend her. Well, I think Sydney thought or Sydney and Elijah both thought he was talking to the super chatter, not to her is what it seems like. Is but that what that means? What, but then, yeah. yeah but then yeah. why did he follow up with the tweet saying, um, when, when a uh, quartering asked him, why didn't you defend Sydney? He responded with, um, I'm not a white knight, which was fine. Like like but that's kind of well, I mean, what, the, what, what the producer is saying is what I'm pointing out. Well, you don't have to be a white Some knight confused. to be a good person. I mean, no, no, definitely I, not. But I'm confused. <laughs> Let let's like, see. May, I think um, they they might have like maybe Jeremy was expecting in one of his tweets like expecting Elijah to like stick up for Sydney more, but he didn't get the sense that he needed to stick up for her. Right, uh, but that's conflicting with the producer's comment of saying like, "Oh, he didn't know." Like you either know and you consciously don't do it, or you don't know, so you're unable to take action because of it. I just think it's conflicting. Yeah. It's also possible that like all four people involved have like different, uh, you know, perspectives on what happened. Yeah. Please, but he's speaking for Elijah in that comment. So yeah, I'm just confused on which one it is. Yeah. I think overall it just was like a, th a thing that got blown up and like none, none of these people are, are malicious. So 